The Ozark Howler A mysterious creature of living deep in the woods of the Ozarks. Its territory extends from southern Missouri to northern Arkansas, and sightings have even been recorded in Oklahoma and Texas. Of course, it's just a legend. Or is it? The Ozark Howler is a legend that has been passed down for generations by locals who have heard things they could not describe, and have seen things that couldn't be described as an animal that you would expect to find in the heart of the Ozark wilderness. Its frightening sound and eerie appearance has been seen in the more remote parts of the Missourian and Arkansan Ozarks and even farther west in Oklahoma and south in Texas. It is typically described as being around the size of a bear, with a thick body, stocky legs, black shaggy hair, and having prominent horns. Most agree that it is either black or dark in color and its cry is often described as being a combination of a wolf's howl and an elk's bugle. Skeptics claim that it's an eastern cougar, a black bear, or some kind of wolf or feral hound. Sightings have been officially recorded since the 1950s, though many Ozark families can pass on stories of their parents and grandparents experiencing the chill of seeing the Ozark Howler, well before that time. The Howl, as you might expect, is the trademark of the Ozark Howler. Its sound has been described as very deep and guttural as well as a high-pitched howl. Others have said that it's the most unearthly scream and half-human. One of the most common descriptions of the sound is like the screams of a woman. Those who have heard the screams pierce the night never forget the chill that ran up their spine and the feeling of dread that washed over them. Scottish, Irish, Welsh and English settlers homesteaded the Ozarks Plateau in the mid to late 1800s, and they brought with them their ancestral stories and mythologies. One such story was of the Tsu Sith, a mythological hound that is feared as a harbinger of death. The settlers believed the hound would come to bear away the soul of a person to the afterlife, similar to the Grim Reaper. According to legend, the creature was capable of hunting silently, but would occasionally let out three terrifying bays, and only three, that could be heard for miles by those listening for it, even far out at sea. Those who hear the baying must reach safety by the third bark or be overcome with terror to the point of death. Though possible early sightings of the Ozark Howler date back to the early 1800s, it has since become a fixture in local legend, with many different representations of the creature and its abilities. Despite the varying accounts of the Ozark Howler, the legend continues to captivate the imaginations of people today. What do you think about the legend of the Ozark Howler? Have you encountered what you thought was a big cat prowling around? Or have you seen glowing eyes glaring at you in the forests of the Ozarks? Drop a comment and let me know, and as always, thank you for watching.